Yeah, we dug in. We knew the job we had to do from the start. Uh, but a great week preparation. We've all worked hard at it. And uh, as you saw out there, we've been playing some awesome football. As, as Dee's been terrific for the last three, four weeks. So, put a good performance in and come away with a good win. A must win game, you know. And did you expect to run away with it quite, by quite so many points in the end there? We know if we play like this. We played like it for the last four weeks now. We've put good scores on people. We're playing really good with ball. His attack's been pretty ordinary, really, and we're showing every week that, that we can beat any team. And we've just got to keep rolling on and come to good, some good form at the end of, end of the season. We, we made a few too many errors and didn't finish his sets off all right, but I thought defensively we held up very well on the line. Come up with some really good decisions, Richard White, especially on the edge, and um, I think we've shown a real. Uh, willingness to go looking for tries from, from basically anywhere on the field and we thought again we scored some great tries tonight. It's billed as a must win game, did you expect to run away with it quite so comprehensively, nine tries I think it was in the end? Well it's easy for me to say now but you know we felt we prepared well, we felt you know over the last two weeks with a week off we've been in, we've been working and our sessions have been a, a, of a high standard and we just felt that you know if we took care of our own end the result would look after itself and uh, you know it's always pleasing to you know post a scoreline um, but we were confident coming into the game you know without being overconfident and disrespectful to the opposition so tom that was uh, some performance you turned into you gotta be happy with that first and foremost on a, on a personal point of view yeah definitely it's nice to uh, be in some form but i think more importantly it's it's a team and you know we're in form at the right time in the season and we're seventh now and in great consistency and form both going into the playoffs it was a must-win game there must have been a heck of a lot of pressure in the build-up to it yeah, we're talking it up, you know, it was one of the most important games of the season for us, getting seventh. Um, I think we put in a great performance, you know, as D were good in in the first half. The, they had a few sets on our try line and the Brockers won, so with a great piece of play from Rangi Chase. I think we just all worked hard for each other. We knew we spoke about before the game, if we work hard for each other and, and keep turning up for each other, then we, we, we couldn't put a score on anyone. And I think what I was playing out there, we, we, we can keep doing it. How important is it not only for the team to be in a little bit of form, but also some key players in key positions to be hitting some good form too? Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, you know, we've got Danny Tickle out with Amstring and Kofi Skibbons rolled his ankle tonight, who are, you know, really major players for us. But I think when you do look through our team, you will see a lot of players in good form and playing, you know, some of them in career best form and some of them just, just growing in confidence as the weeks go by. And, you know, I think that is a good sign at, at this stage. You know, we're not really fussed whether we finish fifth or eighth. I know there's all sorts of permutations at the moment. I think it's just a case of, you know, if we can keep this momentum going, the boys will be happy to, you know, have a crack at whatever's put in front of them. Any hard feelings that it's your old club that you've uh, you caused a bit of trouble at? Nah, there's no hard feelings. You play to win and still got feelings, obviously, for the club and I've enjoyed my time here, but I've got a job to do now at all and, and got to keep going. Not the, uh, not the dream send-off for yourself or Dean, but, you know, you got some happy memories, I guess, you're leaving here with? Yeah, no, far from a dream. That's as bad as we've been all season. It's really disappointing, but, um, yeah, you know, I'm going to miss this place. It's been, um, had some ups and downs, but uh, very fond of it. And, you know, the atmosphere here at, here at um, the Coliseum slash jungle is, is second to none, and um, I'm going to miss the place. What did it all go wrong today? Was it that, that defence you've been trying so hard to sort out this season? Yeah, it was, it was terrible. You know, I thought we were doing all right for about 25, 30 minutes, and then... A couple of um, you know, terrible tries and uh, again just one on one individual errors and uh, it's just not good enough and we're going to turn that around really quickly but uh, we're just leaking too many points and you know the personnel we've had out obviously um, you know that doesn't help we've got you know four or five six of our starting 17 from the first game that are out and uh, that puts a big chunk out of your side so we played a, a really healthy and a really good Hull FC today and we just weren't good enough. You've been, here, you've been here for six years now. What does this club need to make that next step up, do you think? Uh, it needs some money and some resources. and uh, Yeah, they're the two things that it needs because they've got the juniors and, and all that, but you can't come very hard to compete with um, you know what we're spending on the salary cap and, and um, our training facilities and our resources. And uh, you know, We've done well to... I think we're in eighth or we may be in ninth spot uh, at the moment, but you know, we've done really well to be there and thereabouts and we've still got an opportunity to make the semis. Yeah, mate, you know, I'm really disappointed with the loss. We were, we were terrible tonight and, oh, you know, they're, they're a great side and they're, they're, they're headed for the 
the finals and that's the level we've got to get at if we want to compete, if we even want to be in the eight. So it's disappointing that we didn't name up. But you know, for, for, for me, you know, the last game here and this place has been so good to me and the fans here have been great. My family's been well looked after. It's, it's hard to say goodbye, you know, but um, I, I really want to thank the fans because it's, it's been an enjoyable time. What happens for Dean Witters now? What's the next chapter in your life going to be? Uh, moving back to Australia, I'm going to do some more field stuff with um, Gold Coast Titans over there and, um, you know, I've got a passion for rugby league and for helping the community and helping kids and it's right up my alley what the stuff that I'll be doing back there but um, in the back of my head you know Castleford's always my second home and um, in the future I've got plans of you know at least helping from afar and um, putting some things in place over there to help players out that have come through here at Castle or you know that are coming through the, through the young grades here so I'm hoping to play part in the club's future you know and help out if I can.